Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International, Neil Artist and Educator here. And today we are going to do another, a little bit advanced uh, Neil Art, uh, but I hope you really enjoy it and you will be able to recreate this look if you do. Hashtag Dorota Palicka, uh, as I want to really see it your work on Instagram and other social medias. And you can have a wee preview of this cute snowman in here. Yeah, so he's absolutely cute and uh, adorable and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! I'm actually really excited for this design and uh, we are going to start with putting some uh, color sense, so that's the paint on French gel, uh, color plus, I'm going to use them. So on my mixing palette, I'm just going to put a drops of some colors. So we've got something to paint with. And I love the color plus gels because they are very highly pigmented gels and they're so easy to paint with uh, for this reason, because you don't need lots of products, you just need like a really small amount of the product. And unless you can create any colors, because that's the primary color, so it is so easy to create any kind of color with it. And paint on French gel. And we can start painting. So I'm using the watercolor brush for the bigger parts and then we will be using the D-liner, which is a really nice and thin brush. So this is going to be a body of our snowman. So just apply it uh, at the end and then color in. And using those uh, bigger brush is really speeding up your work. I was always um, scared to use the bigger brush uh, on the beginning, like especially for the very detailed uh, designs. And uh, but I find it like since I start using the larger brush, all the painting is so much quicker. So now we are just painting the head. I wanted it to be really covering most of my tip. That's why I'm kind of adding the volume to it. Awesome. And then once I'm happy with this part, I'm going to give it a flash cure. Flash cure is just a couple seconds cure to freeze the product so it doesn't run. And then on the side, I'm going to start mixing my blue. Also, I quite like using for painting the top coat, but it has to be the top coat with the inhibition layer as well. So I'm using the soak off um, top gel, which has the inhibition layer. Okay, mix it in. So really nice and kind of like a uh, wet consistency for your gels. And now we are going to do a little bit of the shading. Just so our snowman is not like bold color. And if I wouldn't have this top coat, it would be very difficult to make a really nice uh, fading. And then if you've got the top coat, like I can show you even pick up darker color. Then the drop of the top coat. 
And what you do is just do lots of lots of motion of the brush to fade this color in. Really great stuff for painting. I also want a little bit of the shadow where the eyes are going to be. This is something which is really hardly visible, but there are some shadows in there. Freeze the product in, and we can start uh, painting the scarf. So I'm mixing my paint on French with some red to get a really nice pink color. And the scarf, we wanted it to be kind of really decent size. Nice and decent size. Make it rounded on the bottom. Also, when I'm painting as well, like I want to start uh, when I'm painting, um, starting with the blob of the color, like um, place where I, where I want um, and I want to imagine the things are going to be, and then I'm fixing and adding either more or I'm wiping a little bit because uh, without of placing those first line. It is sometimes really difficult to decide uh, what we want to do and how big the scarf should be or any other part of the body. Try to make it at the same thickness what you did uh, underneath of the neck. And what you could do with the scarf, you could just kind of uh, make it at, uh, uh, not straight at the end, uh, or you could add like a fluff pumpkin ball. So again, depending on your imagination, you could create a different, different designs. Now, we are going to freeze it again. So when painting such a small detail um, and um, like getting the pictures really nice and realistic, we need to make sure uh, we're doing it like kind of step by step to add the detail later on. I'm going to also put the hat in there. So I'm needing my foil design gel. And we are going to put the hat. So the hat is going to be a kind of rounded shape on the top. But also, you don't have to go like perfect. Like there might be some places where the hat. Uh, is bend it. Leave some em empty space for um, a ribbon. And now we are going to paint some wave.
Okay, so um, one part of the hat is going to be very close to the eye. And as you can see, I've got some places which is a little bit lighter, and I've got some place which is darker. And the lighter place comes from uh, pressing with my brush harder. I'm not going to try to fix it because I actually think it looks pretty interesting. kind of gives us more realistic look to it. Sharpen up this uh, line. Okay, and that's our background for the hat ready. Freeze it. I'm cleaning my brush with the top coat because uh, we have used the black color. And when we're using black color or red color, uh, the bristles of your brush kind of absorbing this color and uh, it might transfer into the other one. So going back to my pink. And now we are painting the scarf, uh, which is on the top. Just smudging the pink so it's a little bit lighter. And then I want to add some shadows. So a little bit of the top coat, even a drop of the black, so your red is kind of a little bit more dirty because we need to add this darker color here. And also at the places where the scarf is kind of bended. So right in the middle. And then start fading it in. We are going to use the same color for the top part of the hat. This is actually going to be a very cute snowman. And then freeze it. With my dotting tool, I'm going to start painting the eyes. And we can also store, uh, swap to the smaller brush as well, because now is the time for the detail. So pick up the dotting tool. And I want some buttons there. <clears throat> Actually make them even a little bit bigger. So we've got the buttons. And 
and it's a time to paint the eyes. Very small amount of the product, this is too much. So like almost nothing in there. And we are start painting the eyes. Make a lines on the bottom first. Okay, tiny wee lines. So you can see I've got almost no product on my brush. Okay, and we have indicated where the eyes are going to be. Now give them a bit of eyelashes. And the eyebrows. One is just hardly visible. Okay, now we want to add some blue eye inside. So I'm taking my blue, maybe not too dark because we are going to place later on uh, some black inside this eye. Okay, so I have placed two blue dots. Give it a flash cure, because it is such a small detail that you want to freeze it in case if something goes wrong. Okay, pick up the black and draw, draw the smile. Dotting tool for a black dots. Okay, so we have created two tiny black dots. And then we smile. With the red color, we are going to paint a cute button nose. Tiny bit, <coughs> sorry guys, tiny bit of the top coat. And then give it a flash cure. He wants to have a really nice rosy cheeks as well. And for cheeks, we are going to use the top coat and the pink. So drop off the top coat. And the pink mix with red, very uh, watery. You can even do it this part with the larger brush, it will be just um, easier for fading. Rounded motions just to blend that out.
this is actually a very cute snowman. Okay, but let's um, let's finish him with more detail. So on the scarf, we are going to go in with black. Just to add this detail. Hardly any product on the brush. You really don't want those lines to be like heavy. And obviously the longer time we would spend with a certain type of the design, the nicer look we would get. Because there will be more detail. Our snowman start looking really cute. <laughs> So I'm just going to quickly touch up the scarf so it's nicer because now I know where I want my scarf. A bit of top coat so my blending is nicer. Clean the brush again. Very, very fine lines. We can also go into the blue. Don't use pure black color. So a blue and I had a drop of the black. To outline the snowman. Actually outlining with the drop of the black and the color you have used uh, gives a really nice, nicest, nicest results. And I'm starting with where the black is, so I know where to place my brush. Look, I'm starting where the black is. Because then I can do the mis like even if I do the mistake, it's not going to be visible. And if I would start it straight away into the uh, white color, I wouldn't have any room for a mistake. Fade that in. Okay, so this place got a bit too dark and I had to touch it up. You also need to put a little bit more darker color where the scarf is because the scarf is giving a shadow to it. And then freeze it. Where else we should put the shadow? Of course we need to put some shadow underneath of the hat because the hat is kind of covering a little bit of the face. So I'm going to clean my brush really properly. Blue with a drop of the black and lots of top coat. Okay, so I'm preparing my mixture here. Kind of dirty blue, I would say. And we need to give him a shadow. Bigger shadow.
fade that in. I've got hardly any product on my brush. With the shadows, you really need to be careful, like you don't have too much. Clean the brush. Drop off the top coat and now I'm just going to blend that out. Just going to put a drop more of the top coat. You can see it how dirty my brush was. So clean it with the top coat. Look how many different colors is coming off from it. Because I want this shadow to be bigger. But I had too much dirt on my brush. Okay, that is getting better and I'm really liking it now. So I'm going to freeze it. Add more shadows again. So he's going to have a wee hand in here. You can add a shadow underneath of the buttons as well. I mean, basically, you could finish. You could really finish. He's cute. I'm just really playing with more detail. Just so he doesn't feel flat at all. And then on the hat, we are going to do some nice design as well. So press hard and then very light, press hard and very light, hard and light. So again, press hard and light. Art and light. With my D master uh, D liner brush, I'm just going to add the detail to the hat, and we will add some snow into the snowman as well, just so it's nice and beautiful. sharpen up this line and what I love about it when we sharpening up those lines now the blacks looks much darker in those places Touch up the scarf. Awesome. And now we have to cure our snowman. I'm still playing with the scarf just so it's more realistic and I could spend probably another half an hour like playing with the scarf 
and the longer I would spend, the nicer it would look. I'm just going to finish it now. Add a bit of volume, cook it, and then decorate it with the snow. <laughs> so to decorate it with the snow, we have to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. Because it's a top coat with no inhibition layer, and then we can easily put the Paint on French Gel on top of it as a snow look, and it is going to nicely stay in there. But before I do that, I want to put a beautiful gem in his hat. And to secure the gems, we are going to use a drop of the Sokov base gel. And I find that the crystals with the base gel last ages, like really ages. This one will be probably too... no, it's not. And then I always love a drop and like a tiny bit of the caviar beads for my designs. And we are going to use the base for it as well. And the last one. Maybe not last one. <laughs> you can't go wrong with the caviar bits. This is the last one, I promise. <laughs> and then cook it. Now we are going to apply the High Shine No Wipe Top Gel. On the entire design. Yes, I take ages for applying this top coat, but what I'm doing, I'm checking how the light is reflecting into it. And until I'm not happy, I'm not going to stop it flying with it. And then kick it inside. Now, I have to cure my top coat really well. And then we can move on for a last step, which is the snowy part of the design. I want to mix a tiny bit of the light blue as well, just so I've got a few different shades of the snow and we want to use some sugar you could use the glittery one or you could use the white one and i'm going to use actually maybe this one and that's the indigo 
emeralds. I'm just painting some detail. Then on the hat, some snow. So make it very irregular, like shake your hand. You can add some blue. And then the snowing, which is falling from the sky, but I'm not going to use my brush for it. I really don't want to damage it. Actually, I'm going to do it more complicated one. So in some places, just like a wee stars. And now I can use the dotting tool. To apply the falling snow. Take a sugar effect. So for sugar, because you guys ask me about it quite often, you can use any type of glitter, as long as it is very fine glitter. Sprinkle the entire tip and cook it. So quite often I use this glitter as well, and that's a body glitter. Uh, it is very fine glitter too. But honestly, any kind of glitter will do. Yeah, so that's um, our snowman almost cooked. I'm just going to clean it, uh, the excess of the glitter to show you the final look. And I really hope, guys, you have uh, enjoyed these tutorials. So let me know down in the comments below. Uh, as I'm looking forward to, to see your feedback. So a couple seconds longer, we should do some background on the other one as well. So I will do just like a paint a small um, two tips on the side. So I've got something to go with the snowman or I could use something which we already created. But that's the finished look. Uh, so he looks absolutely cute. And yeah, I hope guys you have really enjoyed it. Glittery hacks. Bye for now. Thank you.